Hey everybody, it's me, Dustin, back with Nerd Cheek. I'm going to take a few seconds just to talk about a couple things that are going to help you. This tutorial is to help you learn how to control your meeting when it starts up. So I've got my whole screen recording right now because I want you to see you know, the different things you can do. The first thing I do is whenever I'm in here and I'm on my desktop, I click Manage Participants. It's very important because I can see everybody right here. I can easily mute them or lock them down. The second thing I do is I click chat so I can see the chat over there. So I hope you guys saw that. Um, it's just manage participants brings open that first window where you can control people. You can unmute them or mute them quickly, right? And then you click chat and it brings up the chat down here. That's where we share stuff. Now look, when we've got this open and people hop on your call and they've got, you know, they're not turning their um, microphone off. See my microphone on Zoom and my camera's turned off. You can see it down here. I can unmute myself and then it comes through and everyone hears it broadcast. But if they're not doing that and they're coming over and their screen's being shown instead of yours, you can click this right here and click mute all. Boom. And look at this. Here's the thing that's very important. It says mute all. Current and new participants will be muted. However, you can choose right here with this little check mark box to allow participants to unmute, participants to unmute themselves. I would turn that off if you're a teacher. You turn that off and they cannot unmute themselves, meaning they'll no longer take over your screen and pull it over. So then you press continue and look, current and new participants cannot unmute themselves, which only means this. You have to scroll in here and unmute them when you're ready for them to talk. What I like to do to control a meeting, especially for like pastoral leaders that have people logging in on Zoom or if you're leading a business meeting or a teacher, make them text or we call it raise the hand in here if they want to um, you know, chat. Now here's the thing we do. If they want to do that, you see this everyone thing right here, you can tell them to only respond to you if you want them to. And you can control the chat where they can only respond to you. You can make it where nobody responds to anyone else. They can only respond to the host. See this? Allow participants to chat with host only. And now you can message everybody, but they can only message you. And you control what's going on in the chat. So let me be clear, you can control everything that's going on with muting right here, like, and you can mute them by doing mute all, and then by clicking the three dots right there, you can control who gets to chat. So there's stuff not going on where, um, you know, you don't want it to be. You can turn off the chat here, but anyway, I've got everyone publicly and I've got it muted all. But that's it. That's how you control the muting and that's how you control the chat when you're using this. So that's very important for you guys to know. Now, here's the thing. I got tons more tutorials. If you haven't seen them yet, go back and find them on my channel. Be sure to subscribe to Nerd Cheek. Give us a thumbs up for this if it helped you. Put something in the comments. If you have questions, we love hearing from you. And that's how I do these tutorials is when people ask questions just like this one. All right, you guys be blessed.